16 gigabytes of DDR5 or 32 gigabytes of DDR4 or 64 gigabytes of whatever this is. How much memory do you really need to game? Let's find out. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we are going to break down how much RAM you may need for your gaming rig. Whether doing an upgrade, a new build, or shopping for your next gaming laptop, this question comes up often, so let's get to it. RAM is vital to a gaming PC's performance. It temporarily stores data, acting as a super fast memory middleman between the CPU and storage. When you're gaming, RAM holds the fast access program data for your CPU and sometimes GPU to support assets like textures, models, and more. If the system runs out of RAM capacity to hold that data, it will begin offloading and caching files to your system's hard drive or SSD instead, which is significantly slower. This can cause issues like stuttering and frame drops. No thanks. But how much RAM do you need? And are there factors to consider when selecting a RAM kit? First, RAM keeps evolving, getting faster every year with new speeds and higher capacities, typically enabled with new generations of processors. DDR5 is the newest RAM technology available, and it's supported on the latest chipsets from Intel and AMD. But there are still plenty of upgradable systems on the market that take last generation DDR4 RAM. The amount of RAM you will need depends on the operating system, games, and applications you're using, so keep that in mind as we go along. Each game will list its own minimum requirements to run, but ideally you want your system to sit in the recommended range or higher, rather than the minimum, particularly if you are multitasking while gaming. For lower load games, eight gigabytes is the absolute minimum. This is enough for the operating system plus games like Bellatro, Roblox, Minecraft, or Among Us, but you won't be able to run most mainstream titles with only eight gigabytes. 16 gigabytes of RAM is decent for mainstream gaming on titles like Hades 2, Elden Ring Night Rain, or Dune Awakening. For a better experience, I'd opt for bumping up to 32 gigabytes if you can. 32 gigabytes is preferred for high-end gaming or streaming and is generally considered the sweet spot at present. 32 gigabytes dual-channel DDR4 and DDR5 memory kits offer excellent value and are a solid choice for future-proofing your system. This is the level of memory desirable for getting the most out of games like Doom the Dark Ages, Starfield, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, if you'll be using your gaming PC for other hardware-intensive tasks like 3D modeling, graphic design, or video editing, you may want to consider 64 gigabytes of RAM, the ideal amount for enthusiast gamers seeking the ultimate in performance, plus a little extra. Some PC builders I know love to go full throttle with 96 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes, but that is rarely ever necessary for today's modern games. More of a nice to have than a need to have for those who may want to run a game at max settings, keep 12 Chrome tabs open, 3D model, and edit a video all at the same time. It's important before you make any purchases to start with the motherboard model and processor in your gaming rig, which will determine what kind of memory it takes, how fast it can go, and how much you can install. Kingston has a memory configurator that lets you know which of its memory modules are compatible with your system. In short, the days of 16 gigabytes being sufficient for gaming are running out. 32 gigabytes is becoming the new gaming standard, especially for gamers running Discord, Chrome, OBS, or other apps while playing. Keep in mind that having extra RAM is always better than not enough if you want a smooth gaming experience with the ability to alt-tab to watch streams and videos. Why not unlock your gaming computer's full potential? All right, everyone, leave any questions in the comments, and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5.